real quick what's up hustlers i got my own shoe out now it's called doubtless if i've ever provided you value with any content that i produced on this channel please go check it out i would appreciate your support but it's absolutely no pressure if it's not your style or whatever the case may be but if nothing else just leave your feedback about it down in the comment section below and enjoy the video What's up, hustlers? It's your boy JT Hustles back in with another video. And as you guys can already see, my kitchen slash fish room is under construction. I got a lot of upgrades to work on. But in this video, I want to talk to you guys about my plan to create a six-figure breeding business. Let's get into it. I'm disappointed. Giving you the blueprint to get it out here, and you don't want to do what it takes. So for those of you that may be new to this channel, what I'm documenting here is turning one of my hobbies into a business. The goal in any business, in my opinion, is to make six figures or more. If you want to make thirty, forty thousand dollars or whatever, you can do a little side hustle or you can just work a job. But I think that there's no reason that anybody should start a business with any limitations on it. So at a bare minimum, your goal should be to make six figures a year. In the same breath, I would also like to say that one of the big mistakes that I feel like a lot of new entrepreneurs make, and there are some entrepreneurs that been in this game for a while that still make this mistake, they think about the money too soon, right? Money is important. That's probably the main reason why you're watching this video because you're interested in entrepreneurship, how I'm going to turn my business into six figures so that you can do the same to yours. So I'm not trying to tell you that that is not important at all. However, the very first thing that you should be focused on is creating a high quality product or service, right? So that should be the very first thing on your mind. How can you create the highest quality product if it's a physical product or give the highest quality service if you're offering a service to your customers that you possibly can. That's the stage that I'm at right now. This breeding business will grow into a fish and dog breeding business. It will also have an accessory line with it as well. My only concern right now is trying to grow out healthy zebra plecos, healthy discus, and then have them breed successfully multiple times right i currently am ridding a townhouse so i don't have enough land to even add my dog component to it as of right now but instead of using that as an excuse on why i shouldn't start the business like i know a lot of other people would do they'll say well i can't do everything i want to do so i won't start at all i want to lead by example and show you what while i do want to have a fish and dog breeding business if all I can do at the moment is fish breeding that's exactly what I'm going to do so my ultimate priority again how can I grow out very healthy zebra plecos and discus so if you want to create a business and wanted to make six figures first and foremost make sure you have a quality product or service because you don't want to be out there trying to make six figures selling people trash yeah you might get a couple of sales 
uh, because you try to be the cheapest or whatever it is that you do. But ultimately, you're only hurting yourself and your business if you don't concentrate first and foremost on creating the best product or service you possibly can. And I'm gonna show you guys what my discus look like at the moment at the end of this video. So stay tuned all the way to the end of this video to see what my fish look like so far. Moving on, now that you understand you need to have a high quality product or service, the next thing that I want you to understand is that you don't have to have the newest, the latest and greatest whatever uh, in your business when you first start out. That's another hindrance that people create for themselves, saying that I can't go out and get uh, a new this or a new that, right? It's perfectly fine to start off using used equipment that's in good shape to get you up and rolling. And then once you start making money with your business, you can reinvest profits back into your business and then have that pay for the newest, latest and greatest, whatever it is that you feel like you need to have at a later date. A great resource that I'm utilizing at the moment is Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna put on the screen just some of the prices that I'm seeing on aquariums in my area in North Carolina. And these prices beat going to Walmart, Petco, PetSmart, or any local fish store in my area by far, right? It may not be the newest tank, it may not be the biggest tank. However, there are tanks out there that hold water, they're in good condition. They're going to last me for years and I can go pick them up very inexpensively off of Facebook Marketplace. And I actually have a new tank that I'm going to show you guys here in a second as well that cost me $50, right? I want you guys to go ahead and put it in the comment section right now what size tank you think I got. I got the tank and the stand for $50. And let me know what size tank you think I got for that price on Facebook Marketplace. The next thing that you should do is you gotta be willing to put the time in, right? Gotta be willing to put the time in, especially with the kind of fish that I'm breeding. Now that we got all the formalities out the way, I know what everybody wants to hear about are the numbers, right? So here are my numbers right here. Average price for a discus fish as of right now is a range between $20 to over $100 per fish just depends on the strand, the size, things of that nature. Me personally, my individual prices will start at $30 a fish and go up from there. Those of you who never did the math on it, to make $100,000 a year, and for the benefit of this video, we're gonna talk about $100,000 gross, because you'll gross $100,000 before you make $100,000 profit. And I feel like talking about gross numbers will make it the most practical so everybody out there can understand where I'm going with this. If you divide $100,000 by 12 months in the year, you'll get just over $8,300 a month that you need to be making every single month. I think the exact math is $8,333.33 or something like that. But for easy math, let's just call it $8,400. Remember that I just told you that my average individual fish price will be about $30. So doing simple math, you already see that, hey JT, you're gonna be having to sell a lot of discus if you think you're gonna be grossing $100,000 off of discus alone. So let me explain to you guys my plan that I already have in motion. I'm going to sell discus in bulk, meaning 10 or more, because that's how I'm going to define a bulk order from my business. And I'm going to sell the fish for $25 a piece to anyone that buys 10 or more discus. I might say, JT, who in their right mind will come buy 10 fish at $25 a fish? Pet stores, they exist all around the United States and in other countries. I'm not limiting my business only to the US. Once I'm up and running, I'm going to be shipping internationally. I'm still learning the protocols and everything that goes along with certain countries, but I do plan on shipping internationally once I get to that level. And it's a way easier sale to sell 10 fish to a fish store at $25 every single month than trying to find a different discus enthusiast or pet lover every single month that'll buy 10 discus, right? And I'm all about working smarter, not harder. If I do the math on that, I only need around 34 stores working with me on a monthly basis. So if 34 stores all order at least 10 discus every single month, 
which they should have no problem moving if they're open to the public and been in business for a while and have a track record because they can turn around and retail these fish for 40 bucks easy. And they actually can charge more than that, but I'm just giving you the price that you can go get from Petco at, and that's $40. Nevertheless, Petco and PetSmart have no problem at all selling $40 miscus. Long story short, spending $25 for a fish that you can resell for $40 or more is a great deal for all of the fish stores that I talked to already. And I would say I already have probably at least three stores who definitely will start buying fish from me today. And that may not sound like a lot, because I need at least 34 of them to buy just discus in bulk for me to get six figures. But keep in mind, I'm doing zero marketing on my fish breeding business right now. So doing zero marketing, just coming up in casual conversation as I go to different fish stores to buy prime filters, fish food, and just making small talk with the people there. It oftentimes comes up, what kind of fish do you have or are you feeding that food to? And without even trying to sell them, got three people who are already locked and loaded, wanting to buy discus in bulk and zebra plecos in bulk and have already agreed to these same numbers that I'm sharing with you now. So once I start actually pushing for 34 stores all over the United States, as well as those outside of the United States that I'll be able to legally service to get high quality discus from me in bulk at $25 a fish, I'm sure I'm gonna have no problem finding at least 34 stores. Matter of fact, if you or somebody you know is interested in that deal, contact your favorite breeders on Instagram because the Instagram page is already created. The website is coming soon and you can go ahead and get on the list early to be one of the 34 original stores that I'm gonna start giving dedicated service to on a consistent basis once I grow out my breeding business. Next up, let's talk about the Zebra Pleco. Zebra Pleco is a $100 fish, right? So if I do that as an individual sale, it'll be a $100 fish and go up from there. Just like I told you guys, my discus on an individual level will go for $30 a fish and go up from there. My Zebra Plecos will start at $100 a fish and go up from there just because how the market is and what they are as of this upload. Again, if somebody wants to buy them in bulk, which will mean that they'll have to get 10 or more for my business, I will give them a bulk count discount and I'll charge them $65 per fish instead of $100 per fish. And again, they're gonna put it in their store because those are the kind of businesses that I'm marketing to. And once they have it in their store, they can charge a hundred or more dollars per fish and turn a nice profit on it as well. So when it comes to Zebra Plecos, I only need 13 stores to buy those in bulk. And that will give me just six figures alone off the Zebra Plecos. When it comes to the dog breeding business, again, that will be added to this business later, but I already start with the end in sight, knowing that I want to have small breed, high quality dogs, French Bulldogs, maybe some King Cavaliers, uh, other high end small breed dogs. My average dog price will start at $800 and go up. So selling them individually, I only need 11 customers a month and that alone will get me six figures, right? If you guys have been paying close attention, there's actually three ways I can make six figures out of this business. No problem. I can sell discus in bulk. I can sell zebra plecos in bulk. And later on, I can just concentrate on selling the dogs. So by doing a combination of all of these things, there's no guarantee in business. However, I put myself in position to be highly likely to make six figures once this business is up and running. Now again, I don't want you guys to forget that I'm at the stage in this business now where I'm just trying to grow out high quality fish, still learning about them, get them to breed multiple times, have viable young, grow them out for a little bit, and really learn this business. So this is not something that's gonna happen overnight. I am playing a patience game with this business. This is a long-term play. Like I said earlier in this video as well, this is a hobby of mine, so I don't look at this as work, and hey, I need to hurry up and recoup my costs for the water, fish food, and all this other stuff. I kept fish for absolutely free 
not trying to breed them for a profit since 2013. So this is just regular to me, but I do plan on one day outgrowing my townhouse and having to invest in a commercial building that can be a multi-purpose business. My breeding business is primarily going to be a B2B business. I will work with individual B2C customers as they come. However, when I'm doing my marketing, which is very important and I want you guys to hear me clearly, when I start my marketing campaign for this company, I will be targeting other businesses and not individuals. Now, an individual might see my marketing and become a consumer and I will be more than happy to service them and give them a high quality fish, dog, accessory, whatever it is that they wanna invest in from my business. However, my target market is going to be businesses that are located in areas that people can actually afford these fish. If you want to start a breeding business or not, please take away just some of the things that I share with you in this video and apply it to your business. If nothing else, understand, have patience, create a high quality product or service and market to the right people. You don't want to spend a lot of time and a lot of money on no people or people who want to say yeah but can't afford your product what and what i hear a lot and what you'll hear a lot as well is hey that's hard to do you know what i tell those people well so is getting almost thirty-eight thousand subscribers on youtube so is writing books that have helped so many people create a better life for themselves i'm up for the challenge and if you a true hustler, you'll be up for the challenge in whatever business you're starting as well. So enough talking, let's check out some fish. All right, hustler, so this is the tank that I bought from Facebook Marketplace. It is a 50 gallon. Got the tank and the stand for $50. This red devil, unfortunately, will not be with me long term. I am actively looking for any individual or any fish store that's local that will just take them. Um, and just give them, you know, a good forever home. All right, hustlers. Now we're actually in the fish room. Uh, I got some reds and some yellows growing out together in my 75 gallon. Again, once I find a forever home for that red devil cichlid, these yellows will come out, go in their own tank, and this will be just reds in this tank. you guys so that's why i plan on creating my six figure breeding business be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new until next time to all my hustlers stay hustling jt hustles i'm gone